Hello, welcome to BioGrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Milton Obote Apollo Milton Obote was a Ugandan political leader who led Uganda to independence in 1962. He served as Prime Minister of Uganda from 1962 to 1966. He was President of Uganda from 1966 to 1971 and President again between 1980 and 1985. His second tenure as President is usually seen as bad and cruel to many Ugandans. The civil war known as the Ugandan Bush War also took place when Obote was President of Uganda. Milton Obote was born on December 28, 1925 at Akokoro village in northern Uganda. He was the son of a tribal chief of the Lango ethnic group and his large family was respected in their community. Obote began his education at the Protestant Missionary School in Lira. He later attended Busoga College and eventually went to Makarere University to study arts, English and geography. Obote left Makarere University before he could complete his studies there. He was expelled from the university. From his time in school into his expulsion, Obote was actively involved in political movements. He was a student leader in the secondary school and in the university. He later tried to secure educational scholarships to complete his studies in the US and Germany, but his efforts were blocked by the British government. Milton Obote first worked as a clerk in the Maulim Construction Company before he got a transfer to Kenya as a clerk. While he was in Kenya, he got involved in the local political agitation for the independence of Kenya. He joined the local political outfit Kenya African Union led by Jomo Kenyatta, the founding prime minister and president of independent Kenya. He also joined trade union agitations and movements for a better working system for workers in Kenya. After returning to Uganda in 1956, Obote joined the political party Uganda National Congress UNC, and was elected to the Colonial Legislative Council in 1957. In 1959, the Obote's party split into two parts, one of which was led by Obote and later merged with Uganda People's Union to form the Uganda People's Congress UPC. Milton Obote became Prime Minister of Uganda in 1962 after the independence election. The military once went against Obote's government and forced the government to pay military officers more salaries and promote them to higher ranks. In 1965, Kenyans were stopped from holding leadership positions within the Ugandan <laughs> government and this was followed by the removal of most Kenyans from Uganda in 1969. As Prime Minister, Obote was charged with a gold smuggling crime. When the parliament demanded an investigation of the criminal activities, Obote suspended the constitution and made himself president in March 1966. He held most of the executive powers of the government and arrested most of his political enemies. During Obote's first time as president, there was widespread corruption within his government and food shortages made food items very expensive. In January 1971, Obote was overthrown by the army while he was attending a Commonwealth Conference in Singapore and military leader Idi Amin became president of Uganda. Milton Obote fled to Tanzania at the end of his rule. In 1979, Idi Amin was overthrown by Tanzanian forces who were assisted by Ugandans outside the country. By 1980, Uganda was governed by a temporary presidential commission and elections were conducted. Obote's Uganda People's Congress UPC party won the election again, but others believed that the elections were rigged and this led to an internal war by the National Resistance Army and RA and several other military groups. In 1983, the Obote government started a military attack called Operation Bonanza. This operation killed thousands of people and left many Ugandans homeless. 
On the 27th of July 1985, Obote was removed again. He was overthrown by his own army commanders in a military coup d'etat. He moved to Kenya after his removal. By July 1985, Amnesty International estimated that the Obote regime had been responsible for more than 300,000 civilian deaths across the country. Milton Obote was married and had five children from the marriage. On the 28th of November 2005, his wife, Miria Obote, was elected UPC party president. After his second removal from power, Obote moved to Kenya and later to Zambia. It was reported that Obote would return to Uganda before the end of 2005, but on the 10th of October 2005, he died of kidney failure in a hospital in Johannesburg, South Africa. Milton Obote was given a state funeral attended by President Museveni in the Ugandan capital, Kampala, in October 2005. The Baganda survivors of the many massacres during Obote's rule were angry that Obote was given a state funeral. Apollo Milton Obote was a leader who many Ugandans argue about. Some people in Uganda say he did his best to maintain a good system of government in the Ugandan nation, while others hate him for removing the traditional kingdoms that were a source of pride and identity to most Ugandans. Did you know? Apollo Milton Obote wanted to be a lawyer but had to study a general arts course because his university had no law faculty. Obote was a great speaker and politician when he was in the university. He was expelled from the university for unlawful political activities. Milton Obote was the fifth child of his parents' nine children. Milton Obote was betrayed twice by high-ranking military officials in his government. What's your take on Obote as an African leader? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.